Say they got a bed for you down at the Church of the Holy Companions, as long as you're sober. Now, you sober? Well, go to the park and sleep it off. Come see me tonight, okay? Morning, Reggie. Morning, Captain. You still fighting a good fight? Somebody's got to do it, Captain. Or lucky you're around. New paint job? Any color, as long as it's black. All right, take it slow. Okay. Hey, Sweetheart, your mama's got a come home message up on the net. You want to read it? Go back. I just got here. Yeah, well, I was just leaving. It's a long way down. I'm sure. Well, since I, I came all the way up here, and uh, I really don't like heights, tell me why. Tell me why I shouldn't because you'll miss every good thing in the next 70 years. Yeah, well, if the last 18 are any clue, I won't miss much. Stop her, I'm gone. Okay. Is Julie. I don't know you. Yeah, you, you're Julie Payton. You're an inspiration to a lot of people. L listen, what, what, what happened to you was, was terrible, but so many people followed your story and, and believed in you. Oh, maybe they should find another place for their faith. Where do you put your faith, Julie? I mean, what do you believe in? Nothing. Not anymore. Well, believe this. I really, really don't want you to jump off this building. <laughs> what are you, a shrink or something? No, I'm, I'm just... I'm just a guy who's maybe wrestled with some of the same things you're wrestling with. And I know... This isn't the answer. I'm kind of frozen up here. Just take my hand. Go on, take it. I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. I don't know your name. Will Boone. Three years ago they came, forever altering the future of humanity. William Boone's life has been destroyed. A man caught between two worlds, assigned protector to the Companions, undercover agent for the Liberation. An alien implanted cyber virus expands his mind, controlling a bioengineered weapon of unprecedented power. William Boone searches for the truth. on the ledge several minutes until William Boone, director of interspecies relations, came on the scene and was able to talk her down. We'd like to ask you a few questions. So young a life to be so tired of living. This annihilation of self out of despair. 
No Talon can become so alone. Ten years ago, in the same accident in which Miss Peyton lost her hands, she also lost her parents. They were missionaries. She had no other family. She was raised by the Sisters of Mercy. Such sorrow. What a pity. She could not live as a companion. We might have easily replaced her hands. Could you do this for Ms. Payton? We're talking about a species that can grow buildings, Boone. Perhaps the Synod would consider Ms. Payton as the first public recipient. The worldwide effects could be most beneficial. Perhaps. The regeneration of their anatomy still poses our most difficult challenge. Our physicians tell us that the procedure is ready to be tested openly. Bear in mind, however, that we cannot evaluate our results with certainty, since all our human patients come to us with either deadly injuries or mortal illnesses. This one appears healthy except for her hands and her mind. Still, she remains young and strong. Let us learn together, Kuo'on. What are you doing here? You know that ancient saying from China? You save somebody's life, you're responsible for them. You know, I thought I should let you know that in person. Why aren't you in the hospital? They cut me loose. I guess I passed all their tests. Suicide hold is 72 hours. <sighs> OK, we need some candy. Personally, Lemon is my favorite. Thanks. You're welcome. So what happened? They were going to sedate me, like pump me full of drugs. Is, is that what you saved me for? No. Pretty. Yeah. Girlfriend? No, my wife. She would have liked your spirit. Would have. Yeah, she died earlier this year. How? She was killed in an automobile accident. I tell you what, I, I got a couple things to finish up here. Why don't you meet me downstairs in an hour and we'll get something to eat and we'll talk about how am I being responsible for your life is going to work. I've already got that figured out. <laughs> I'm sure you have. See you later. Congratulations. For what? Don agreed with your recommendation. What recommendation? Miss Peyton is to undergo the tail on limb restoration. I didn't recommend. Did you say limb restoration? Yes. It's been in experimental stages for quite some time now. Boone is to be part of its public debut. As soon as you convince the girl. Convince her? Shouldn't this be Ms. Peyton's decision? It's Don's wish. I don't believe it. I didn't either. At first. But I would bet that they can do it. I've seen them grow entire buildings. What would you do? I don't know. When I was a little girl, I used to pray to God every night for a miracle. I'd, ho I'd hold these like this and pray that when I woke up, they'd be real. Do you think my prayers have been answered?
All they're looking for is the goodwill they can generate if this procedure works. This could be disastrous for her. Talons couldn't care less about Julie Payton. Yeah. They're not satisfied with popularity. They want devotion as well. And they'll get it if they can pull this one off. It's time for us to do something. If we talk Julie out of this, if we take her out, they'll just pick someone else to experiment on. I'm not just talking about Julie Payton. I'm talking about us, this movement. We have done nothing to make a dent in the Talon's agenda. You need to learn patience, Captain. Everything in its own time. You're assuming we have time. <sighs> All right. How far does this medical team extend beyond Dr. Bellman? As far as it needs to. Does it include geneticists? What are you suggesting? Julie Payton grows her hands back. I'll bring you back a little souvenir. Enhanced strands of genetic material provide the matrix for the growth of organic tissue. Naeg, our foremost surgeon and scientist, Do the bionucleic derivatives direct the new tissue growth? No. They link nerves and capillaries with muscle and skin. So the entirety becomes a functioning appendage. generation is commencing. I am told she will occasionally break fingernails. of Julie Payton. Yesterday, a miracle was performed. History's first successful human limb regeneration. My accident was the worst thing that's ever happened to me. My life was filled with nothing but despair for the last 10 years. <sighs> but life is not cause for despair. Life is full of infinite possibilities and surprise.
Feel, feel here. This is a pulse. This is my pulse. <laughs> Please join me in welcoming the one responsible for this miracle, Da'an. Such an unusual like feeling to be worshipped. You know the affection our people have for you. Affection is one thing. Adoration is something else. Share your thinking, Boone. You should discourage her from this belief immediately. It will only lead to disappointment. As we see this universe, every being lives with no distinction between creator and created. Some of our ancient Eastern religions share that belief. Did you somehow impart this experience to Ms. Peyton? No. The young one sees what her mind tells her to see. Those among you who share this simple vision, you regard them as saints or fools. You actually slaughter each other over questions of the spirit. Is it different on other planets? It is different on every other planet. Please give me something to tell Julie Payton. Tell her to enjoy her new hands. Hey, Julie. Come on in. Come on in. Hi. Nice to meet you. Thanks. Oh, I didn't. It's okay. You can touch them. Okay. <laughs> this is just extraordinary. I'm sorry. It, it's just such a, a miracle. Don't apologize. I feel the same way. You're so lucky to work for the Companions. Can't argue with that. <laughs> Come on. So how are you doing? Incredible. I didn't sleep a wink last night. I, I just walked around my place touching everything. W what was your favorite thing? Olive oil and bricks. It's amazing to me, the things we take for granted. I'm really happy for you, Julie. Thanks. So you wanted to see me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I got something for you. <sighs> Go ahead, open it. I haven't written my name since I was eight years old. Thank you. But I don't know how to use it. Oh, it's like riding a bike. You wanna try it out? Thousands of them flock to me. Afflicted ones seeking healing? No. Everyday humans seeking nothing more than our favor. I perceive wisdom in the words of my implant, William Boone. He urges me to make a public disavowal. I'll interfere. The Synod shall observe the evolution of this phenomenon. We feel this newfound devotion has proven a great stride for us. 
Possibly. Possibly the opposite. Might they turn on the very thing they worship? They have done so before. Look at this. You're picking this up very quickly. <laughs> it's great. It isn't as hard as I thought. <laughs> oh, look, you're on TV. Sound up. There's been a worldwide firestorm of religious fervor touched off by the companion medical miracle. One of the beneficiaries of this tale on first is Travis Murray, founder of an organization calling itself the Church of the Companions. Julie Payton is living proof of what I've been saying for two years, that the Companions are much, much more than visitors from another planet. The Companion Church is planning round-the-clock rallies across the nation, including one here tomorrow night. Everyone take a seat. We go live online in 20 seconds. followers out there. Join me now in the universal Talon greeting. Come on, it means we come in peace. You know, the truth has been under our noses all along. A companion loves at all times. The book of Proverbs says a companion is born for adversity. Revelation says, in the midst of the light stood one like the son of man, clothed in a long robe, and his head was white as snow, and his eyes burned like the flames of a fire, and his voice was like the sound of many waters. And in his right hand, he held seven stars. Excuse me, miss. You're the one. You're Julie Payton. Everyone, it's Julie Payton, the companion miracle. Julie Payton. Julie Payton. The flesh and blood miracle. Bring her up here. Egyptian Prince Amenhotep IV, blend three onto two, and one. Yes. Uh, Da'an. What work has so absorbed you? Studying you, Da'an. May I ask you a question? Have you been here before? The souls of our two species have a long history on many different planes. Set your monitors to the site for the Church of the Companions. Julie Payton is making an appearance. Go over there and, and make a donation and buy something from them, because this is a night the world will be watching. Julie, you were chosen. 
The companions picked you to receive new hands, and then they revealed themselves to you in their full glory. Isn't that obvious? Well, I, I saw what I saw. Of course you did. This is the sign we've been waiting for. Pretty heavy load for her to be carrying, don't you think, Reverend? Well, Who are you, my friend? It's okay, he's a friend of mine. You work for the Companions. What an honor, two distinguished visitors in one day. <laughs> I'm Travis Murray. Will Boone. It was so exciting here earlier, you should have seen. I did see, the whole world saw. We were just discussing the responsibilities that come with God's gifts. From those to whom much has been given, much is expected. Ah, then you're a man of the faith. Just a guy with a good memory. Come on, Julie. Your only responsibilities are rest and recovery. She has a duty to the world now. Really? Just what did you have in mind? Well, my mission is to spread the word of the companions. Julie should speak the truth. Well, what if Julie doesn't see that as her mission? Doesn't she have the right to live her life any way that she pleases? Julie's been given a gift. The greatest gift she could have been given. She has a responsibility to tell the whole world the wonders that the companions have wrought. On your net site. Anywhere she likes. With the t-shirts and the videos close behind. Let's go. How did you come to such a cynical place? You know, we can help you find a new path. Let's just say I'll be monitoring your path for Julie very closely. I have a duty to my companions. I will do everything humanly possible to see that Julie fulfills her destiny. Then let's go. You're welcome anytime. Both of you. Good night, Reverend Murray. I'm sorry if I was rude. You were totally out of line. I said I was sorry. Don't you get it? I don't care what Murray's motives are. I know firsthand he's preaching the truth. You saw an aura because you believed one was there. Julie. Good night. Good night. Commander Boone. Yes. Uh, I'm Barry Calvert. I, I can see that. Uh, Julie Payton was scheduled to appear on our show today. I know. She's there with you, isn't she? Why don't I like the sound of this? I know she was very excited about meeting you. I'm sure she'll be there. Commander, this is a live show. I'm on in 30 seconds. I'll try to vamp with one of the other guests. All right. I'll make some calls. Yeah, I'd appreciate that. Metro Police. Bob Morofsky. Please hold. Yeah, I'll wait. Today on Barry Calvert Live, Medicine or Miracle? The strange saga of Julie Payton. From Jerusalem to Tokyo to Rome, world reaction has been unprecedented to this so-called miracle. Now, let's go live to someone who's been saying for some time what Julie Payton has just proclaimed, that the Talons are messengers of God. Meet Travis Murray, founder of the Church of the Companions. Reverend Murray, let me be frank. Julie Payton's history doesn't make her a model of stability. Why is it, Barry, that when someone talks to God, he's praying, but when God talks back, that person is schizophrenic? Dear God, save me from your followers. Answer a question with a sound bite, it never fails. Were there enough cells on Julie's paper to run the tests? Yeah, they were highly unstable. They were only a few hours old when you handed them over, but they already showed signs of decay. Boone should be the one to tell Julie. Yeah, call him now. I've seen the companions hide their failures before. I don't want to see Julie just disappear. She doesn't deserve that. Jesus, 
Hey, Julie Payton. I just want to thank you. For what? Uh, for hope. <laughs> You've given hope back to people like me all over the country. In the world. I didn't do anything. Oh, you have courage. You went for it. Where I live, that's everything. You're welcome. We've got to find her now, because if the Talons get her first, she's gone. Incoming call. Hang on. Screen two. Cap. Yeah, Reggie. It's about that girl, Julie Payton. She just came by here. She wasn't looking too good. Which way was she headed? Uh, east on Sloman. Thanks, Reggie. Julie's gone to see Murray. He'll take her to Da'an the first chance he gets. Murray will turn her over to us. We do represent the Companions. No, he won't let anyone get near her, especially me. The Calvert coverage was terrific, even without Julie showing up. I want a 30-minute video assembled from her appearance on our website last night. We've been given a unique opportunity to spread our message. Let's not waste it. Reverend Murray? Julie, are you OK? Not really. What's the matter? The egg has informed me that biopsies taken from Julie during her procedure are displaying unanticipated degeneration. Are those samples a solid indicator of the effect of the limb regeneration on Miss Payton? I am told that is so. That would explain her absence from her scheduled television appearance. The Synod expresses grave concern about the potential harm if her condition should be made public. I will locate Miss Payton at once. Does the Synod wish us to employ the customary isolation procedures? Speak with the Reverend for a minute, please. Thank you. Um, 
Reverend Murray said he'd take me to the Companions as soon as he's finished with his service. Is he almost done? And just a little while longer. He told me he'd be right up. Maybe I could go downstairs and hear the rest of the sermon. Sorry. Reference every to see right here. He's really quite concerned about you. Stairs. Well, why didn't he tell me about it? You know, I had it covered. Will! What's going on? I'm so sorry, Charlie. I never expected this. We gotta go. What about Reverend Murray? Not now, Julie. You have to trust us. Our followers are growing by the minute, all over the world. Julie's miracle is proven to everyone. Companions are divine. I know you're dealing with a lot right now, Julie. More than anyone ever should, that's for sure. It's okay, I have you and Lily. It's more complicated than that. You're very much in danger now. Wait, wait. what do you mean? Talon science didn't work. Once the world finds out about that, they're not gonna be very happy about the companions. No, but Reverend Murray said he'd take me back to them. He said they'd cure me. If they could cure you, wouldn't they have done it in the first place? But you guys work for the Companions. Why are you telling me this? They've done a lot of great things, but sometimes they're willing to sacrifice an individual for what they think is the greater good. And Lily and I think a little differently. We want to protect you, Julie. Any ideas? Maybe one. Come on. We want to thank our stations for letting us cut in with this special report. I'm Barry Calvert, and with me is Julie Payton. Julie? I'd like to apologize to all of you for any disruption I may have caused in your lives. I know now that the vision I had of Da'an was my own illusion. I was caught up in the feelings surrounding my own recovery. When I said he was a messenger of God, I was wrong. As you can see, the Talon's operation on my hands was unsuccessful, at least in material terms. But I want you to know that I don't consider this experiment a failure. In fact, now, I consider it a true miracle. I think a miracle is an event that creates faith and strength. It isn't about new hands or the blind seeing or the dead rising. It's about what happens on the inside. A week ago, I was ready to end my life. Today, I commit my life to the Companion Limb Regeneration Program so that someday others like me can experience their own miracle. I'd like to thank the Companions and their emissaries for my miracle. Good night. Mute. It's a testament to the power of the Talon's message that Ms. Payton has found such a positive resolution to her disappointment. The resolve of the human spirit continues to show itself to me in a myriad of unexpected ways. I'm glad to hear that. Good night, Don.
Did Julie Payton's statement damage your membership, Reverend? On the contrary, Barry. Worldwide membership is up 16% as a result of Julie's miracle. Despite what happened to her hands. You heard what she said. Well, I heard her say that the companions were not the messengers of God. Yes, well, I heard <laughs> her say one that off. they weren't. It really was a miracle, Will. Even if it didn't last. I know. And they did give me something that will last. What's that? Your friendship. <laughs> Hey, you remember that you asked me once, you said, what do you hope for? And I said, understanding. Well, I understood the moment that you knew you weren't getting your hands back and you didn't retreat. When Kate died, I, I didn't know what I was supposed to do. But if I can just keep going on, I know I'll understand my purpose. So, thanks for helping me see that. The young girl's interpretation of her plight was quite an unanticipated turn of events. Our message is strengthened as a result. I honor your instinct for this work. Shinawi. Your world.